Good weather for that. 31 degrees here at the moment. And a northerly as well blowing across the track. Lights on. Gates open. Racing. Best to begin. Probably Campo Basso in the middle, but out deep. Batting above comes forward. Carry the musket jump well, but is looking to slot in centre field. Placer also jumped nicely and charges through to lead a circuit to run. Placer leads batting above. Parsonage lane up to third. Campo Basso slots into first class. One out, one back. Westcliff gets onto its back and that pushes. Vorster and another free glass deep. Carry the musket deep as well. Zooming along the rail is ace attack. Westcliff just ahead. And then towards the back... Third last is Alpine Bow. Carry the Muskets now last three deep with pushing between the margin of error. They're heading into the back and Placer strides fluently 1,400 metres to run. Leading batting above who's eyeing off a hat-trick two lengths. Parsonage Lane wedged in third. Two further back, Campo Basso running fourth, but he spots the leader half a dozen. Good speed to report. 1,200 metres to run. Another free glass is looking more comfortable now. He's got into a one-off trailing position on the outside of Westcliff. Two then to Ace Attack, who's on the inside of Mystic Knot. And then Alpine Bow, margin of error still pulling. Last of all is Carry the Musket. They're about to work through the bend at the 8.50 metre mark. And Placer picking them up and putting them down in fine style. Leads by a length and a half. Batting above, Parsonage Lane, Campo Basso. Another free glass is now tracking up. Three lengths further back. Westcliff alongside of Ace Attack. Then Mystic Knot. Hard push now is Alpine Bow. Uh, Carry the Musket's got about eight to make up, but he's picking up speed. And there's one that's dropped right out. That's margin of error. Up before the bend and batting above now in the face of Placer and takes over. Another free glass. He's three and zip here at uh, Gawler, but that might be about to change as he strikes the lead. Another free glass from batting above. Placer's throwing in another decent effort. Then Campo Basso, Mystic Knot runs on. Another free glass in front, but he's got to find the line. Placer's coming back underneath him. Placer hits the lead again and may have won. Placer maybe worried another free glass out of it in a photo. Batting above Campo Basso, Mystic Knot. Then Alpine Bow, Ace Attack, Parsonage Lane, Carry the Musket, West Cliff, Margin of Error. Photo. Race 5. 1,200 metres. Now the gates are full, the light comes on, Williston pass fit to run, gates open, racing. Best to begin in the middle was Archie's a star. Williston actually jumped well with the big white face, the yellow colours, pressed down likewise, club punter, Parisian Mond, and also Brazano not far away in the first half a dozen at least, then Miss Kermy, Nataris. Princess Sally, Covered Call, Charm Slinger and Tales of Conflict is last and looks to be travelling pretty deep. Pressed down, hasn't raced since late last year. One for one so far. It's got the lead. Three quarters to Club Punter burrowing up. Archie's a star. Parisian Mon with the gun run alongside of Williston. Miss Kermy the fence. Brazano, then Nataris, Charm Slinger. Princess Sally, Covered Call. Tales of Conflict swinging the widest. They turn in, press down, and Club Punter actually turn in together now from Archie's a star who laid out into the middle part of the track. Miss Kermy, Parisian Mon, Williston, Brazano, Nataris. And Tales of Conflict down the middle, but pressed down. Club Putter, they've broken away from Miss Kermy. Pressed down, trying to get to Club Putter, who finds plenty under Brittany Wong. It's Club Putter in front. Press Down's running out of gas, and Club Putter goes on to score three quarters to Press Down and Miss Kermy. Then a gap, Nataris. Tales of Conflict closed off okay from the back. Parisian Mond, covered call. Then Charm Slinger, Brazano, Williston, Princess Sally, and Archie's a star tied to finish last. Call it a hunch now in the second line of betting. They're all in. Race number four. Waiting on a the light. There's the light. Racing in the fourth at Narrow Court. Call it a hunch. Jumped well with uh, Wonga Bell. 
Going quickly in the red jacket was River Out Wide. It's going to press forward. Up was next. Then Paint This City drove his yarn. They were compact up on the speed. French Bishop second last. Whipping them in last of all, the heavily tried Star Lyric. There's probably only four to five lengths, though, covering this field as they sort their order out now at the 1,000. River takes up the running three quarters to up. Wonga Bell was third the fence. Called a hunch it's outside, then paint this city. Drove his yarn out in the cheap seats. French Bishop underneath it. Star Lyric whips them in. It's been a fairly sedate tempo to my eye. River at the 800 leads three quarters to up. No change in the order yet. Then came behind them. Called a hunch third. Improving around it. Drove his yarn. Then came behind those, Wonga Bell, Paint This City. Now Star Lyric, it's starting to get on its bike. Tegan Vorham's not happy with the tempo of the 550. And that relegated French Bishop last of all. There's four or five lengths, top end to tail. River is the pilot as they work their way up towards the bend. Up's already being felt for and starting to go back. Star Lyric around them. Called a hunch, just needs a little bit of a split. Then came Drover's Yarn. They will the bend here. River first into the straight. Wonga Bell trying to come through underneath it and did so, in fact. Wonga Bell took the lead. Called a hunch, chiming in with River. The others are a fair way off them. It's River the centre. Wonga Bell called a hunch. Three way go. Wonga Bell, River called a hunch. They hit the line. Photo, River. River, I think, in the centre has just scored in front of Call It A Hunch. Wonga Bell was third. Then came Star Lyric, French Bishop, Paint This City up and drove his yarn in a good three-way finish. Standing by, gates spring open there, off. They all jumped nicely. Chon Cape and Near Magic are struggling to muster and my mate Sonny is dragged back from the whitish alley. Al Maho began best and leads Midnight Brawler, Exalted Traveller and Red Dynamo who are all contesting the top spot. Pushing through to be in behind that uh, quartet is Marina as they work to the back of the track and my mate Sonny's been able to slide over and secure the one out two back position by the looks of it a length and a half to chon cape and three back last of all is near magic they are running towards the 750 meter point now and the leader alma ho with red dynamo getting right in its face they're a length and a half exalted traveler on the inside of midnight brawler now my mate sonny i don't think did get in it was three deep has been from the outset now pushed on to accelerate as they race up towards the bend and in the four inside the 400 marina's hard ridden chon cape last of all near magic plenty of hopes they swing in red dynamo grabbing al maho exalted traveler midnight brawler and my mate sunny makes a line of five as they dash to the judge then chon cape and marina still red dynamo bobbing from midnight brawler my mate sunny red dynamo the claim here for Brittany wong going to tell and red night red dynamo wins from my mate sunny midnight brawler chon cape and then near magic exalted traveler marina and al maho